Right. Right. Uh, my last uh, toy haul video. Uh, I showed you a big bag of dupe off for three quid. So I just want to show off uh, exactly what was in that bag. So uh, first of all, there's like a, a base there with a, a lake bit. Uh, some of this I haven't had a chance to give it a good wipe down and stuff. So if you see a few bits of poo or whatever on it, just ignore that. Uh, it will be clean. So yep, yeah, sort of base there, so you can use that to build stuff on. There's like a house thing here with a bit of roof. Uh, another house with another roof. Fortunately, there's some of the doors and things are missing, but I'm not going to cry about that. Like. And a police station with a bit of roof. So you've got quite a few sort of buildings there you can do quite a lot with. Uh, I'll move these to one side. Also got a bit of cave, uh, cave door front thing. And this, I'm assuming, is a part of a bridge, but pretty good for building bits and pieces with. Right, loads of bricks. So you got like these ones, these type of ones. So you got the big ones, the small ones. Even got like a couple of the uh, a couple of the nice flat, biggish ones as well. So, uh, like I said, probably around about 150 blocks, roughly in total uh, of them. Uh, so more of the more different shapes, like the, the kind of the, the foot shape and the kind of oddly funneldy funneldy shape. And then these ones which are really cool because they've got like pictures on like a uh, World Cup and a flame, a telephone, a bucket of fish. <laughs> Why would you not want a bucket of fish in a 50 miles an hour speed limit sign? Uh, this one also has some um, like a really big, that's like a kit, that's how big Snickers or Marathons as, uh, as they were called in the UK. And then that's kind of more like the size of what a Snickers like now. And then you've got these ones, which is like a fun size Snickers. And then you've got these ones, which is your, um, what do you call them? Like a Galaxy Heroes type thing. Is that nice? Something like that. So yeah, so you can like get these these on there. Right. Now on to the cool stuff. Not that our stuff isn't cool, but this stuff's slightly cooler. Uh, you got a, a fuselage, is that right? Is that what that's? Yes, that's a fuselage of a plane which has a door there, which unfortunately there's no like these bits to stick anybody inside, so if somebody's inside there, they just rattle about a bit. Uh, so you got that, and then it does have a thing on the back as well, so you can put cows and things in the back if you have any. Uh, I didn't. I didn't just get the fuselage though. It just came with some wings, uh, which can have that about there in it. Plain wings out there. A bit further forward. Eh? Yeah, that looks a bit more aerodynamic now. Uh, I'll put it on one side. Right, got a uh, Stegosaurus there. And a clown. An ambulance. Unfortunately, the, the back door was missing, so you put them in and pull away and they fall out. But you know, I guess that's why the, the, the clown's one, you know, like the uh, a, a Duplo chair, uh, a Duplo police car with. Yeah, that actually comes off as well. So you, you know, if you want to put that on there, you can have a police plane, you know, and remove the driver and put a clown in there, and you know, all sorts of stuff like that. The tractor, uh, some sort of Lego what? Something looks like a doctory type person. I've uh, got a giraffe. 
which moves its head. You can stand somebody on its back. Got a zoo car. Piece of a tree. These are good because you can like use them as trailers and things. Do all sorts. A couple of uh, blocks with eyes there. This was in the bag, but it's off a Thomas the Tank Engine train set. So, uh, you know, obviously, I guess if I get a random set of Thomas the Tank Engine stuff, I've got a piece to go with it. There's a, a Duplo cow. Uh, these these kind of go on the train carriages and stuff. Uh, to put stuff in. There's another carriage there with another block. So, uh, you know, I'll move some of that over here. Like I said, I've got absolutely tons of this stuff. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Oh, there's the, the stretcher that goes in the back of the ambulance. So there you go. So. There's a little car. Uh, some sort of trailery thing, which uh, unfortunately I don't know what that's off, but. Uh, I'm sure it will just get used as something else, as is this door thing, which again, I don't know what that's off. And here's some more tree. And some more tree. Hold on. Quite a lot of tree. Another carriage. A different clown. And another carriage. Another zoo car with a zoo person inside. Our little T Rex. Another chair. Some more tree. And some more tree. Lots of tree. Got some branches, air uh, branches, some uh, foliage to go with it as well. So there you go. Obviously, you can decorate that how you want, rather than the kind of traditional Christmas tree thing that I've got going on. Uh, there's a kind of swingy, carriagey sort of cannon tank holder thing, I don't know, a piece of Duplo basically. Uh, an engine and some policeman. A very useful little uh, lid kind of esque piece. A yeah, sort of, I don't know, kind of train uh, control bit. Another carriage. Getting down to the bottom of the bag here. Yeah. That was in there, the bag as well. That's a Playmobil cow, so that'll go where any Playmobil. And you've got a, a Duplo man with a Lego t shirt. Another chair, and the last piece is the, uh, the teal. So you've got a plane there as well. So, so there you go, that, that's, that's all the, the bits that I got, uh, and that was. Three quid. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed to have it. Um, mainly just for the boy, uh, you know. I mean, I'll, I'll give this a good clean up and uh, put up with other bits of Duplo he's got. He hasn't got a great deal, but now he's got an absolute load. Uh, chuffed to bits. Like I say, if I find out like that, I just have to pick it up. Um, hours of fun, and uh, I'll. Keep you informed of me next finds on me next toy haul. See you later.